What's up guys, back with another brand new Ranked Katan video, and in this match we have the third pick. So I hope everyone's doing amazing right now, I hope everyone's loving the content that I'm putting out, and I hope that I can make you all sit back, relax, and enjoy a nice Katan game. So, green settles on the 10, 9, 5 to begin with, interesting first pick. I definitely think you probably want to play it a bit more riskier, and wow, straight away red goes for 6, 5, 11, so I've been left with some pretty good choices here. I mean, I like 693 here and pairing that up with something like, you know, the ore of six is really nice. If I could get 693 and 634. So they've taken the this weight. So I definitely think 639 is what I need to take to begin with. <sighs> what else can I get? I won't be able to get much shape this game. I guess I can take something like 349 instead, but 63 definitely gets taken, doesn't it? Does it though? If I do take three four three four nine right and build towards this three three for one, red already has ore, green already has ore, blue had, wants to take wheat. He could go. He could easily go six nine two instead, and he'll have so many other picks. I could definitely take this risk on the three four nine. I assume blue takes six three four. Hmm. Where's the wheat port out as well? It's up here. That's a shame. I mean, I guess I could get. I definitely could get an eight ten four. That's definitely on the cards. Oh, this is interesting though. I do. Is is six three that important for me? Hmm. It's so nice. Really, it truly is really nice. Am I really taking this risk? I don't think so. I think I just settle on the 639. It's interesting though. I just want to play it a bit safer this game. So look, we definitely have, could have 8104. Uh, I don't think he takes. Does he ta really take 634 and 8104 with no weight? I think he could. He could definitely take 9411 and and 36364, which leaves us what 1038 going to this five as well is a possibility. 8104 should be definitely possible. That's an option. 61211. Hmm. Yeah. I think I got left with some pretty good picks as third spot. Ideally, we want the 8104, right, to get to that wheat port because that's pretty strong for us. It just means we won't be on that ore, but I think we sacrificed that. We've, we're on, well, we're on two two pips of ore, so. But yeah, getting on the six is nice. 634 is, it's kind of nice, but there's, I think 8104 is probably way better in my opinion. Let's see what blue does take. I don't know if he takes 8104. I guess for the shape, because he's definitely, I think he definitely has to take one of these spots down here, which means he won't need the brick and the wood. I guess that's also why I take 639, because now what is he, he's okay, yeah, he's forced into like a 9 for 11. Yeah, and that leaves me with 8, 10, 4, which is actually really nice. We do have 6, 12, 11 here, or 10, 3, 8, and the brick port, which is actually quite strong as well. But surely we're taking the 8, 10, 4 here, right? You know what? I actually, if I was last pick there, I would have loved to go 8, 4 and 8, 10, 4 and just settle and just have so much brick every 8. I mean, that can be an insane pick. So we have, we can go 8, 3, 4 as well. 8, 10, 4 obviously is what we want to do to get that free road as well towards the wheat port. It's interesting to look at like a 10, 3, 8. Do you think someone settles on the brick port? 8, 3 could get taken. It's possible. 8, 10, I think, I think we are just taking 8, 10, 4. This wheat port's so strong for us, especially if we can get an early city up there on the 6, 9. So yeah, let's take this. It is also the highest production spot left for us. Red takes 10, 3, 8. And green. Oh, I guess he's, mm, he could take the brick port. He might actually do that. I mean, it's brick port, 8, 3. 510 I guess 62 and 61211 I think he takes the brick port here which sucks for red I think he has to take the brick port doesn't he it's still pretty strong taking the brick port and then you can double up in the 8 I do really like my setup in this game the only problem is every 6 rolls they're getting so much ore as well which means they're going to be able to city up a lot faster he also kind of if he can go here on the brick okay he does it kind of it screws over red as well but he builds right instead I, I think I'm building this way to double up in the 8 11 what do we get a 5 and 11 of course and a nine. Okay, so let's let's go towards the wheat port to begin. Seven from blue. So he's surely blocking the eight here, right? He's blocking eight or five. Got to be. It's got to be. He blocks ten. He wants to steal from me. That's the only reason he puts it on ten, because he wants to steal from me. Otherwise, he puts it on eight every time. Okay, wow, okay. He doesn't steal from me. I'm not sure why he puts it on ten then. Builds a road towards the six, twelve, eleven. Six. And a seven from red. So red literally shares every number with pretty much everyone. Puts on the four. Yeah, I just can't really be blocked here unless I'm ahead because there's, I, I'm just a solo block, really. I guess he can put on nine and I roll another nine. So lots of ore for green here. Can I get, uh, I think it's fine trying to trade wheat for ore here with, with green to pop a dev. I think a dev's fine. Two wheat for an ore. I definitely, uh, 
It's just, there's no point in doing that. Okay, pass our turn. Six. Blue gets the first city up, which is always nice. Three. Okay, there's our first ore. It's nice that blue gets the city up early because it means we won't get solo blocked. Five. Trades ore for, for wood and sheep with... Who do you trade it with? With green. And red gets the city up. It's a bit of a silly trade there. Can we get this? Six cards. We're on the seat. We're on a quite a good amount of numbers. Is a dev card worth it? Oh, man, I always want to hold in these positions like I always do, but it's just so greedy, isn't it? Does a knight even- the knight really doesn't even help me. These sixes are gonna hurt every six rolled. Oh, I mean, what's- what's good for me? A knight isn't really that good. This four's the only weed as well. Oh, I think we just have to hold here. Nine. Another nine. Oh, no. We should have just popped the dev. I always do this, don't I? I always do this. Wait for brick here. It's gonna. That's gonna be a city right there. I think wait for brick. He needs the ore. So what do we want here? We need more than one card. Wait for brick and ore here. That gets him a city, right? We'll take it for this. Does he have a wood? Okay, we get the we get the we get the settlement with that, and he gets a city. As long as the seven doesn't roll. Six, okay. Please, please, please. Let's go, six. Everyone has the ore as well though, which is not great. But no one has wheat. Wheat for two ore. Red says wheat for ore. Wheat for ore and what does red have? Okay, I think we do just do wheat for ore here. Please say yes, red says yes, let's just take it. He, he could definitely seven out here, so that'll get us a city as well, which is nice. On the six, three, nine, that's a huge play for us. And of course, blue rolls a seven, let's go. He's gonna block me though, you'd think. But he, is he really just gonna solo block the six? He wants wheat though, so he knows I have wheat. He blocks a 10, he's gonna, yeah, steals my wheat. Like, oh, that's fair enough. And he gets a CD from it as well. Four, 10, two, seven from blue. So I only have sheep. Hopefully he knows that, he block, blocks the five here. Wow, he blocks my three to steal my sheep. Five, wow, I think the five was the block there. Twelve. Nine. Nothing we can do. Eleven. The thing is, they share so many numbers together. Fourth wants all his sheep for a wood. So he took my sheep to fourth on it. Seven from green. Oh, yeah, God, please block this. Six, green. Thank God. Now roll me the sixes. Roll me the sixes, baby. We really- I think red is the worst person to roll for us to roll. I think he blocks nine every time, red. Green is the best because he puts it on this six. Nine hits. And eight. So I think building a road here is fine. Towards the three. Or do I want the six? I think this three to one's actually not bad. So we'll go towards the three. Seven from blue. Puts it on ten. Steals my weight. And he rolls a six. Ah, <sighs> Two for ones for a wood, another six. Red builds a road and settles. So please, can I roll a seven here? Two, no, 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 no. Let's see if we can get an ore from red. Two wait, he wants two wait. Red says yes, let's just take it with red. And let's pop the first dev. A knight, okay, perfect. Roll that seven, another six for blue, that's crazy. I mean, I guess that's just another city for him, right? Fourth one's all his ore and he pops a dev. So I guess he combats me and, and he builds a city. That's pretty crazy. Nine. Can we please get a three? The only thing about blue setup is he's portless right now. Green builds a road. Eight hits. We need more of those eights. So I think we have to play the knight here first and put it on the six. Take from blue. Please don't roll a seven here. Okay, nine. So I can do a lot here. I can settle and pop another dev. I think a wait for ore and brick here isn't actually that bad with red. Just a wait for ore with red maybe. No, he doesn't want to take it now. So I think popping a dev here. Should I be popping a dev? Should I be settling? I mean, he probably blocks three. So let's just pop another dev. Knight. A knight's fine. Blue was saying, yeah, I know it's silly. Does he have a knight? Do, you th do we think he has a knight? Six cards. I think we do have to two for one our wheat here for the sheep, I think, and just pass our turn. So knight. Yep. He has the knight. Puts it on my six, steals my wheat and eight rolls. Four for ones, all his wheat for a sheep and buys pops another dev. Seven. That's actually a really good roll, especially because green rolls it. He's going to block the six. Red rolls seven, puts it on the four, bit of table talk here, steals from blue. I play the knight, I've got to put it on this six, get ore, which is really nice, and a 12 hits. 
So, am I popping another dev? I think I am. I think I do. I think I have to, right? It sucks that I have to do it for wheat. Can we get a wheat trade here? I think we do have to fourth one it. Two brick. So I think we just have to fourth one all our brick and pop a dev. Oh, that's so good. The mono. That's so good for us. Three means we can get some good some cities up quite fast, especially with our wheat production. Blue doesn't have a knight. Wow. Three again. Two threes. Come on, give us a six or a nine here. Five. No. We don't we don't want to be <laughs> We don't want to be monoing the wheat either. The mono is pretty big. I don't think we need to do any trades here. Oh, an ore for wheat and wood. It's not bad. Fourth wants all his wood for an ore and he builds a city. And we get a 10. That's so bad. As if a 10 rolled. Oh, we are. We really can't do anything here. I'm not. I refuse to use the mono on wheat just to build one city. So I think we just have to hold. Blue rolls a 7. Steals the one wood I have. Let's go. Okay. That's actually... Perfect. Fourth wants all his wood for a brick, and he guess he's going towards a 9 too. Yup, don't. Okay, four. Lots of brick. Nine. Perfect. And another four. So there's a ton of brick out there. Ton, ton of brick. There's not that much weed out there, I don't think. There's a lot of brick, though. I think I've got to be monoing the brick, especially because I have none. To three for one at all. Yeah, let's mono brick here. Ten brick. And... Build a city and build a build a settlement here. I think I think a city here is probably the best thing. We city on the A104 here and pass our turn. Six. Ah, that probably wasn't the right mono. Blue pops two devs. Yeah, no, I don't actually think that was that was the right mono. Eight because I barely stole anything from blue. That was the problem. I could have potentially got. Ugh, I'm not sure. Six again. No. Yeah, no. I think I think I choked here. Red builds two roads. And we roll a nine, That's that could be GG right there. Pop a dev, I need the knight, I get a road building, and I guess that we, we can't do anything here. Unless blue rolls a seven, GG. A nine, GG. He can settle, and city, and he's gonna be able to take an army. Puts it on the 10, steals my brick, pops a dev, pops another couple devs, wow. Six. So I think a three can win us the game. Five, red cities, give us a three, please. An eight. Wow, so I think that's GG right there. What am I saying? A three can't win us the game. <sighs> I can take road, but I can't I can't do anything else with the road. Um yeah, it sucks that I couldn't take army. Or well, can I do anything here at all? I don't think so. I I mean I play the road building. I guess I can plow blue here. That's my only the only thing I can really do. Do this. And I two for one my wheat, so I can settle here. And that plows blue at least, but he could have a lot of VPs, so he definitely probably he probably has the other mono as well. So I actually could have won the game if I drew the knight, because if I draw the knight, then puts me on eight points, and then I can take a road with two roads. If I play the knight, what I have five wheat, so then I add five wheat, and then all the brick, and then I steal a wheat from blue or whoever has wheat. And then I pour my weight for the wood and I take road. So I could have won if I, if I just drew the knight. I think I just build a road and take road and just end my turn. Blue takes army and that's GG. Second place. Minus three. That's okay. Nine points. I think I definitely could have done something differently there to win the game. Let's look at the resource stats real quick. 82 is pretty even there. I think the monopoly on the brick was the deciding factor. And I, I think that was wrong because I stole from everyone else but blue really. Or the important things that blue had. So yeah, GG guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Ugh, can't win them all. I'm still making little mistakes that are costing me the games. But yeah, GG guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.